we're so excited to have you join us uh, with um, with Athletica uh, as a full fledged team member. And um, you know, it's is a with so many opportunities out there. This is a really big call on your part. So we're um, we're just absolutely honored. And um, yeah, um, maybe tell us a little bit of the story about how you came to even find out about us with uh, with Hit Science. <laughs> Yeah, well, thank you um, very much for having me. I, I think to tell the story quickly about how I came involved, um, we got introduced uh, by a, a mutual friend, acquaintance, um, a guy called Cedric, who um, works uh, at the, the local university um, and was a strength conditioning coach or always around the gym as an intern or something, but seems to do everything. Um, and uh, my uh, the two of the other guys I train with um, call Cedric the Oracle because he just seemed to know everything about everything. Anyway, we we, um, we got introduced and he said, "Oh, I should chat." And I knew nothing about Athletica, but gen you know generally know about um, hit science and um, the the research and, and your background and stuff. So so that's cool. Um, and then we were we were chatting about various things and. Um, you mentioned Athletica and yeah, I, um, I kind of involved in a number of sports tech businesses, kind of in, investing and in advising all kinds of things. Um, and I, I kind of been aware for a long time, uh, like I alluded to very briefly earlier that, um, yeah, for sure, at, you know, recording, um, analyzing, um, storing data is kind of been done and, and the easy bit the the really interesting bit is um maximizing our ability m mechanically machine ability to um predict and prescribe um using using that data and i i kind of felt that this is a job um firstly uh, that's really important and needs to be done um by by machines because uh there's a so much data that we're all collecting now you know the easy bit is collecting it the difficult bit is analyzing it and, and using it to prescribe um information um and at, at the same time that you know there's there's so much science out there and science that is getting more valid and some really kind of rock solid principles um that can be used um and, and i think um yeah that there was a, a real really good um chance to do it um i, I felt I've obviously seen a few of these businesses over the years uh, and people trying to do it, you know, there, there are a few people out there trying to do it, not being completely convinced by things for business models, always felt that it was really important that there was um, genuine scientific experts really backing up in there. And obviously then there's the programming part that I can't um, uh, ever uh, say I understand in any shape or form, but I try to understand and um, I've done quite a lot of reading about the AI and, and stuff. Um, so that's interesting. Um, and then I think there's there's two things really about um, Athletica that I liked. One was, um, apart from what I've already said, one was this, um, the whole uh, the whole point about how do we integrate people and coaches? Because um, I felt and from my experience in Korea that really the key, um, there's so many things about coaching that are so important and a massive part of that is human relationships. Um, and that's for a whole host of reasons that maybe we can talk about on another podcast. But I, I think those human relationships can be maximized and coaching can be maximized by providing really good prescriptive advice, guidance, however you want to define it, um, to coaches, which gives the, um, the maximum experience to the athlete and working on that interface between um, machine prediction um, and coaching, I thought it's just a fascinating thing to do. And so to be offered um, the chance to uh, shape that in some small way and, and work with you guys on that was um, something that really excited me. So yeah, that's why, um, that's why I decided to join the fun. Fantastic. Well, we're again, uh, so grateful to have you on board and, you know, you're, uh, yeah, assisting us from the business standpoint and the, um, and the product standpoint as well. Um, and yeah, I think, you know, a really important thing, something we always come back to, a thing we spoke about in the first three podcasts was, was it's all about, you know, appreciating and knowing your context. And sometimes, like, again, the why we want to build a coach version here, why that's in progress is that we think, yeah, we, th we think that, you know, a lot of this, this info that's, you know, we've, we've spent a career building with hit science, 
um, if it's actually programmed and put in using the machines and machines are helping us with the, with the variables that are coming back through the wearables to tell us uh, where we should sort of be at on a given day, um, the coach can kind of help and guide that, that whole context. And the athlete can, can also guide that context too. But, um, and, and of course, like, we, we can work in synergy ultimately, and that's what we're, we're sort of aiming to do with Athletica. Um, yeah, and uh, I mean, it almost kind of goes back to your track session. What are you going to do? I mean, Malcolm's not going to always be there for you, right? So it's like, what's, what, does, what does the science or what, you know, actually say that that, that session can be on your Tuesday night? And, um, you know, it, maybe, it's, uh, maybe it's, you know, a little bit different than you might, might expect. But um, here it is sort of in front of you. Here's a, here's a great little load. And then, uh, you know, make sure that, uh, you know, the coach is there to help the athlete guide um, and, and pull back as needed and, and uh, make sure that they're listening to the body too. Yeah, I think um, I think obviously we're going to be talking about this a lot more um, and trying to dissect exactly what that interface looks like and how we can maximize it. Um, and, and I think there's two things that really quickly come to mind. Um, I think that the first thing is, yeah, for sure, um, there is <clears throat> there is a load of the intangibles out there a computer, whatever, can't do yet. I mean, there's things on the line that a computer might be able to do, recognize that the ground conditions aren't right, that the temperature's wrong, that, um, I don't know, that the athlete has a, a limp and isn't walking right. Um, you know, all these things, they might, you know, we might get there one day. Um, I'm not convinced. I think the human eye, I hope, has still got the edge on that. Um, and then there's the empathy and delivery and and those things, um, I think that are key, um, really key for coaching. You know, when I reflect on my experience of, of good coaches, um, I, I like to tell a story, a lot of Jack Maitland, my other long-term coach, uh, telling me a few times when I was young and, um, you know, probably training a bit too hard at times and coming to swim sessions and just saying, oh, I'm tired. And I remember him telling me, oh, I always found, you know, fatigue is just a function of how long it takes you to warm up. I get on with it and you'll warm up and get into it. Um, yeah, and I don't think we'll be in a position where um, uh, uh, some software can tell us that for a while. Um, but And I think the other thing is I, I've truly believed um, and I really kind of cemented this belief from writing the book I wrote recently in, in the power of conviction in what you're doing, you know, this self-fulfilling kind of prophecy cycle of the more you believe um, what you're doing is right. The, the more likely it is to succeed, you know, for all kinds of psychological reasons, I imagine, but principally because if you believe it's going to work, you tend to do it better. So it does work <laughs> and simply. And, and I think um, that conviction, that sense of conviction, I think uh, if it's rooted in great human relationships and decision making and on the ground, everyday decision making backed up by um, the best kind of physiological advice and prescription and scientific, you know, coming from a scientific place that can be offered. Um, I think that's as good as it can get. 